the next profession that we will be taking a day in life in Star Citizen, we will be looking at the smuggler aka the drug runner and this is actually a very popular and useful profession especially for the beginners because it doesn't require a big ship you can do very well with your initial starter craft and or at least the craft that could hold i would say four to eight su's of cargo in this example i'm using my small bmw the origin jumpworks 315p mainly because it's a small ship i had it for Ever. I've basically bought it in, I think it was what, 2012 or 2013 uh, ish, you know, when it came out. And that means that you will be taking the ship, going to the illicit sites. For example, I'm going here to Orphanage, which is, uh, I believe, uh, one of the sites which sells this illicit cargo, loading up your illicit cargo and then blasting off into the sunset, or in this case, sunrise. And hopefully avoiding detection while you smuggle all of the illicit goods and sell them off for high profit. Uh, as I said, this is actually a popular off-the-grid profession for the beginners as well, because it doesn't require a lot. Starter ship will do just fine, and a little bit of cargo missions will set you up with armor and weapons so that you can actually be a little bit more armed to the teeth, because it will require you to be the armed to the teeth, because you will always find, when trying to sell, well, let's call them problems. Yes. I was also in this run when I was filming for this episode, encountered a little bit of problems when going to Samson's and Sons, but then I hightailed it out of there with few scars of notable, and I was able to sell off my load at the Brio's Breaking Yard on Daymar. Yes. However, I do prefer the Arc Core where I'm actually, you know, uh, buying stuff in Orphanage in Lyria, and then I'm going all the way to Walla. So where I'm basically selling. It's a really short run that can net you pretty decent profits. However, in this case, since I did encounter some problems, I was basically selling them off at Daymar. So, intro aside, quite a long intro, let's go into the today's episode and I hope you will enjoy it. Do let me know if you do in the comments below. Off we go to a day in life of the smuggler. Alright, so we begin our journey on the uh, station, I believe. I believe we are in the station above the Arc Core. Uh, and we will be entering, as said, I'm using the Origin Jumpworks 315P, which I did actually modify. You don't need to, of course. I put in a little bit of more stealth components, especially I think it was the stealth jump drive, basically the stealth power plant is not really that much necessary, and I believe, uh, yeah, a couple of more things in general. But, uh, and I put the two scorpion repeaters because I have no use of energy weapons in this case. I don't expect to fight a lot. So, yeah, if I encounter problems, my mission will be hightail and run. Yeah, I think, I believe this station that I'm currently is the Bajini Point. Please do, do correct me in the comments below. It should be the station above Arc Core. Yeah, like I said, I'm rarely at Arc Core. My main area of operations is either New Babbage in Microtech or the uh, uh, Grim Hex uh, at Yala or, you know, or I'm um, our Bob Crusader. Anyway, yeah, so turning off the engine, uh, this was the build 3.20 and I did have issues when taking off. My, you know, ship wouldn't take off, so I had to restart the engines, but when you restart the engines, and this shot is actually, I've done entire shot from the cockpit for one of my viewers, shout out to Radoslav Masurek, because he was asking, can you do it everything from the in-ship camera or do you have to resort to cinematic views? No. I can do it from my in-ship camera, but I did it so that you can see. So, yeah, by the way, a big shout out to all of my patrons and channel members. Be thank you so much for your generous support. With your help, I can I will be able to do what I'm doing here and I will just stay awesome. Anyway, so we are blasting off and our first destination should be the orphanage in Lyria. So look at this beautiful, I cannot, you know, I'm always enjoying the view that I have. Okay, so we are in our corp. Our first destination is Lyria and, of course, as we said, Orphanage. So 
powering up our drive. We have to go to the OM2 because, and oh, one note, OM1 and OM2 jump points. OM1 is always at the north of the planet, you know, North Pole, and OM2 as it is the South Pole. So if you ever need to navigate quickly around the planet, always go to the OM1 or OM2. This will help you out a lot in terms of finding stuff in orbit. Here we go, this is our beautiful, I actually like Origin Jumpworks 315P, they call it the BMW, and I can clearly see why of the Star Citizen. So, alright, enough me yapping. So let's go and try and find, this is the shoe bin mining, I'm trying to find the orphanage. The pit, nope, ah, there it is, the orphanage. Alright, let's go engage our quantum drive and jump. This never gets old. I really am enjoying the cinematic shots and I'm mainly... Let me know if you guys like them when I'm doing these episodes because I really feel like these cinematic shots give you a feeling for the universe and the looks of Star Citizen. I feel like only having, you know, the in-game, you know, cockpit view feels a little bit stale after a while. So I like to mix it up. Do let me know if you enjoy it in the comments below. Anyway, uh, Lyria, I haven't been visited it frequently, but apparently we have a cloud layer above it, so we should probably punch through the cloud layer and do some of a low flying. Well, maybe not too low flying because I suck at it and I'll just end up like somewhere like a, you know, dirt spot right in the middle. But I think Orphanage is somewhere at those mountains ahead. And look at this. This is such a beautiful shot. I really love the ships in Star, in Star Citizen. They're just amazing. Yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of the weather. And yeah, as said, the orphanage is just right about here. And we're just going to be punching it slowly and carefully. We're going to be flying low just in case that we don't get detected if there's somebody there. I don't expect it to be, but in this profession, danger is part of the risk. Trucking, you can also get pirated, but here you're actually asking for trouble. So, yeah, do be careful. You're asking for trouble with your choice of locations. Okay, so people that are typically coming to this uh, locations are armed to the teeth. All right, so we are coming here. Let us land ever so gently. There we go turning off the engines and yeah look at this orphanage is so beautiful at this time of the day i really like coming to the missions during the daytime they provide such beautiful vistas all right so getting out of our seat and out of our craft and obviously we will need to take a mandatory selfie because i mean we like to take selfies we are after all this is an instagram generation so of course we have to take some pictures here we go beautiful Posing in our full armor and everything in front and of course you can be never be too careful So you might as well take up your rifle Just in case you get unwanted visitors. I mean there are no ships outside That's your first cue that, that there should be no problem, but you can never be too careful So let's go in and let's see what illicit goods we can buy today Cycling the airlock and one exercise that I always do when coming on these sites I typically go around the site just to double check that there are no hidden You know bad guys. So yeah, there we go. Nothing out of the ordinary. All right That means we can fully enjoy our purchases So no questions asked terminal. Thank you very much and let us select our origin 315p We have a total of 12 su of cargo and this is the reason why I really love the Origin Jumpworks 315P. Of the starter ships, it has the highest SU capacity, and I'm talking the ships that are below $100, you know, I'm not talking Cathy Blacks and this kind of stuff. So that makes it pretty good, and, it, and its speed, it's unmatched. So I'm actually trying to buy a lot of slam, we were trying to buy slam, but it wouldn't let me. So I believe it's the problem of the cargo grid, which would only accept, you know, the two sized container so i'm gonna buy in the pairs of two and apparently that goes without a hitch so i'm just managing to buy quite a decent amount of these yeah there we go two 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 buy a bit more come on can we buy four no we, we want to buy two again there we go you know repetition yeah what can i tell you anyway you want to buy, can I buy another two? And probably it's not gonna let me. 
Yeah, insufficient stock. I don't know why. It doesn't let allow you to sell the late last one. So let's see. Can we buy two now and then one? And uh, then I would want to buy one more crate. There we go. All right. Okay, now that we have loaded our cargo grid, what we want to go is hightail it out of here and sell it. I believe the best and closest place where you can sell it is Samson and Sons on Walla, which is within the same system. So it's only a short jump away. And theoretically, if you do this multiple times, you would be able to turn in for a quick buck. So that's the plan. And of course, my cargo grids are loaded. I'm going to just quickly hang on over to show you. Yeah, there you go. If we open the cargo grids, the Origin Jumping Forks 315P has a cargo grid of 8 on the main cargo deck and additional 4 at the back, which is makes it ideal. 12 SU of cargo, you know, that's what's where a smug, you know, smile is go. Okay, so we're closing the front bay and I really like how it lowers down while it's loading. Okay, so let's go enter the ship and then we will be hightailing it out of here. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Turning on. Let's grab our seat and we would be off to a short hop to Walla. There we go. Sit down. Engines on and let's take off. Gear up. Angle up and give it some thrust. There we go. Beautiful cinematic as we are leaving Valyria. Amazing. I just love this. Star Citizen is so beautiful sometimes. And this transitions, seamlessness always gets me. The ability to just zone out and go all the way. So we're here we go. I have jumped over where I've spooled my quantum drive and I have Walla already inside. So let's go and quickly hightail it out of here to, for a quick profit and a quick buck. There we go. As it says, Origin Jump works at your service. Indeed it is. And here we come on Walla. So now all we have to do is quickly look for Samson and Sons. Now, sometimes you don't get all of these um, all of these points, so I actually typically turn on and turn off my um, quantum drive to get them to repopulate. This is one way around the bug. And typically I go on the OM1 because from there I have a good overview of all of the locations. So let's see where if we can find Samson and Sons. Arc Cop Processing Center, Arc Cop Mining Area. Typically, those are like little rhomboids. Hey, Samson and Sun Salvage Center. There we go. Okay, as soon as our drive calibrates, we're gonna be jumping all over there. By the way, guys, if you do like this series where I'm doing, uh, you know, Star Citizen Professions, do let me know in the comments, like the video and subscribe because I will be making more of them. I'm actually quite enjoying the world of Star Citizen. So... You know, a little bit information about how do much you like it is always appreciated from my side. It keeps my motivation up to make more, of course. Anyway, we are 20 kilometers out, so now our ship is actually quite quick. So I'm gonna just go to the unhinge mode. And typically what I like to do, I like to, you know, just do a quick scan, you know, like ping, just to make sure that we are alone at this place. So I'm gonna do a quick ping and there we go. Okay, I'm decelerating. Oh, there is somebody, and it's Sir C2 Hercules. Contact. Uh oh, radar warning. Okay, that's not good. My typical reaction is oh, and he has a lightning as escort, F8 Cs, and it's giving us the fiery welcome. Okay, guys, time to hightail it out of here. Quantum drive spooling, and I'm looking for the nearest quantum jump point while at the same time I'm putting thrust afterburners to the max and just making sure that I'm goner. Alright, so let's see, where do we have... Okay, don't black out, ground forks, don't black out. Come on, where is my quantum marker? Uh, is this OM3? I don't care which one it is, I'm just gonna hoof it out of here. I was totally unprepared for uh, this encounter, so in all honesty, yeah, it didn't go well. I have decided that I'm going to do another pause. 
I'm gonna try once again to see if I can get, you know, two of my Tempest missiles to make sure that I can, you know, at least make a dent, scare them off, and I don't know what if. And I have my guns ready, so yeah, I'm gonna go back and see if I can at least chase them off. Probably it's not a smart idea, so guys don't do this at home. If you see like this encounter, you might as well wanna hightail it out of here and you know, thank your lucky stars that you have made it out to tail the tail. However, I'm not making the smart decision, am I? Okay, let's give it another go, let's give it another pass. After all, we are a smuggler, we like to live dangerously. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the Samson and Sons, and this time I'm gonna actually go quite low, and just making sure that I have selected... Okay, my Scorpion cannons are ready. There we go. I'm just driving so I get a little bit lower. But not too low, I don't want you know, to be hammering myself into the ground. There we go, and there should be the Samson and Sons, okay, there they are, good. Now this time I'm prepared, I know what to expect, and let's see if we can manage to do some damage there. There we go, there's the lightning, yeah, Zorok42, looks like a player anyway. Maybe he is landed. If he is landed, then that would make us my life a lot easier. Because, you know, as a smuggler, you have to also be an asshole sometimes. Anyway, okay, contact. Yeah, there we go. Fire. Two missiles incoming. And, oh, nope, he is in the craft. Okay, firing my, firing my repeaters. There we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, usually going up against the lightning, it's really not a good idea. As you can tell by my uh, the status of my ship, I think it's time I hate hail it out of here. No, I'm definitely not not even a close match for the <laughs> F8C lightning. Well, okay. Word of warning, guys. It's not a good idea to go against F8C lightning. Yeah. Looks like I will have to resort to the plan B. And, and thank my lucky stars, I was able to tell the tale. Okay, and just look how quickly he dropped my everything. I mean, that's like serious firepower right there. Look, look at how badly it looks. Let's examine the damage. Yeah. Okay, like I said, bad idea. Don't do it, guys. Anyway... Now, our backup location is, of course, the Brio's Breaking Yard at Crusader. I tried to avoid it because it's actually quite a far away. Oh, not the Crusader L4. Where is the Crusader, by the way? It's... Uh... Oh, it's over there. Okay. Let's see. Set route to the Crusader, and then we will be going to the moon of Daymar. Because on Daymar, there's Brio's Breaker Yard, which has one more of these terminals where you can sell off all of these illicit goods. Okay, set route. Yeah, I'm putting it to yellow because I was thinking I might as well go and repair my ship as well. But um, I don't know. The moment I come to Crusader, I'm probably just gonna go and try to sell my stuff before some, you know, because somebody blows me out of the sky. All right, quantum drive ready and let's hightail it out of here. Okay. So while we're traveling, I wanted to take a closer inspection of the damage. As you can see, I'm missing one winglet, so yeah. The damage is extensive, but let's see how it looks from the inside. Oh no, my beautiful BMW, it's utterly wrecked. Look at it. Sparks flying everywhere. Yeah, that's what you get when going up against a mightier opponent. So. Conclusion, if you encounter something, just hightail and run. Especially if you're in a starter ship. If I was in my Connie Andromeda, then I might actually, you know, think about fighting. I don't have the luxury of FHC Lightning, so yeah. I didn't want to dish out $200 for, um, you know, essentially a, a ship. Regardless of how good it is. Okay, so we are coming up on the Crusader. So the moment we come to Crusader... Remember, we are smuggling, so that means we really want to avoid any authority craft. And I do have stealth components, but I really do want to hightail it out of here. So where are we going to go? We're going to go immediately for the Daymar. There we go. Quick. 
hitch off to the Daymar and then we're off. Okay, there we go. And major torque imbalance. Okay, that might be a problem on the atmospheric flight. Although I'm not really that much concerned given that uh, Origin 3 Jump Force 315P is really, I didn't lose any of the thrusters. So my main thrusters are still unaffected. It's only aerodynamic surface. So if the aerodynamic overhaul was a thing, which is not, I would be deeply concerned. Oh look, Brio's braking yard and it looks like a graveyard of markers. Okay, that might be a d concerning factor, but uh, honestly, uh, I don't have much to lose. I have some cash to lose, which is ob always concerning, but uh, if we encounter somebody, we will just, uh, you know, go to Yala, go to Grimhex, repair, and then come back later. But I don't want to miss the opportunity, because sometimes you can come and the location can be c entirely abandoned. So that's another thing that you want to watch out. So let's go over there. And once again, I'm going to hightail it and I'm going to go maximum velocity. Typically what I like to do, I like to go at in at maximum velocity, drop my landing gear as soon as I can, and then hopefully come in close for the landing, assuming there's nobody there. So as you can see, I'm actually flying low. Brio's breaker yard should be just behind those rocks and if my assumption is correct I did ping make a ping and nobody was there so let's see if we manage to find that it has been abandoned all right so we are getting really close oh there it is Brio's breaker yard we can see it on the horizon I'm just you know making small corrections just to make sure that we arrive in the place I don't see any ships gear out and don't get me wrong, I sometimes even pull my gear out even though I have my, you know, quantum drive spooled up. So it's a good idea that you have your quantum drive spooled up as long as you don't come very close and identify there are no ships nearby. If that's the case, then you can, you know, power down your quantum drive and stop being so much paranoid until you go on foot. Then you should be paranoid all over again. Okay, so let's go for a quick landing. The, the building that we are looking for is the two-story building. So I'm going to go and land just close to it. Avoid this sentry gun, hopefully. And land somewhere about here. It seems to be abandoned, which is a good thing. So we're going to go and get out of our seat. And then immediately, as quickly as we can, hoof it out. Oh, these, you know... When I see this damage, it's just heartbreaking. I really do love my little BMW. Okay, let's get out. Okay, take my Boneyard rifle, P-54. Oh, we're gonna repair you, buddy. We're gonna repair you real soon. All right, running, and after we sell it, then I, assuming everything goes well, I'm gonna call it a day. So let's see, running in. Sometimes I heard a tip from a guy that you might want to toss in grenade inside. I think it's actually a good idea. Sometimes, you know, people can hide and if you toss a grenade, you will solve these problems. Origin 315P, nobody's there, slam. Okay, let's, you know, we sell ETAM, 31K. Okay, that's a nice profit. And then we go for this one, 143, which I believe is also a nice profit, which ends us back at 2.47. I believe we were 2.47. I think 13 mil when we started, so all in all, I would say that was a good haul. Alright, especially guys, if you're a beginner, this might be a viable loop for you. If you like excitement, thrill of getting caught and, you know, risking it for the biscuit. Alright, there we go, we're gonna go back to our ship and hopefully to repair. However, I think I'm gonna do that in the coming episode. Now for the time being, thank you very much for watching. Throw a like at this video if you liked it and I'm gonna see you in the next one.